Hey friends, today I am going to give you a look at some amazingly rare Disneyland and Disney World props and different types of memorabilia, including attraction props and even some historical Disney like one of a kind pieces. I am so excited. Let's go do this. One of my favorite spots, the Lakeland Antique Mall. There are multiple vendors in here that actually sell Disney World props and memorabilia. So you have more than just one area to look. And one of those vendors actually just made a trip over to the West Coast at Disneyland and obtained some like super rare pieces from different estate sales and auctions. So I'm very excited to see what she got. I know that she gave me a little sneak peek and I was like, wow, this stuff is amazing. So I wanted to come down and show you and just take a look at this. This is what I was talking about. Historical Disney pieces, one of a kind. This right here is a piece of Cinderella Castle from the 25th anniversary. Right there in the front, you can see this is the rose that was literally in the front of Cinderella Castle. I'm like mind blown. This is so rare. All of these items are for sale, and some of the prices are on them, some of them aren't marked, but if they are marked, I will let you know what they are. If you do wanna find out what the prices are, and if you're interested in buying them, you can always call the Lakeland Antique Mall, and I will put uh, their address and information in the description below, and they can literally tell you how much it is and more information about them, but this is some amazing items. We've talked about the 25th anniversary castle piece right here, but just take a look at all the other props that they have. These are seven dwarves construction cutouts. These were during the refurbishment. These are $365 a piece. And then they even have some more construction cutouts of like Goofy <laughs> and they got Daisy. It looks like Minnie over there. And you can see they give you a little photo of where they were at. Isn't that amazing? $285 for these. I absolutely love it. Obviously, another cool piece is the World of Color banner right here from Disney's California Adventure. I absolutely love that. I don't see a price for that, but the Disneyland Fantasmic sign up here, that's amazing. That is $385. And then they have a Disneyland Resort. I think this was a time sign. Look at the monorail. That is amazing. They have so many different things. Just regular refurbishment signs. This one is $265. 35 years of magic. That's $695, but that is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then they even have one of the gigantic ribbons for the 25th anniversary. This is $595 for that one. I'm not sure how much this is, but I mean to own something that was on Cinderella Castle, that's priceless. Like, I don't even know what that can go for. I told you some of this stuff is gonna be super, super rare. And I am like, wow. This is like, kind of like a cell, like it's, it's like a shell shock. <laughs> this is really cool because this used to be a hometown voting box where you actually used to vote for your favorite princess in the parade. And you would have to basically pull this out and press and like it would make a vote. But here to find out, the votes were never tallied up. I don't want to ruin the Disney magic, but it was rigged. Here is a lot more other really cool items, including honey pots from Winnie the Pooh. And they actually have certificates of authenticity. This is from Club Disney Pooh Honey Pot. Unbelievable. $395 for that. $125. And then down here, they actually have Main Street Electrical Parade Farewell Season name tags. These are so amazing. Patrick, Charles, Randy, Ruby, $50 for these, but those are one of a kind. And then more down here, we have some really nifty credit card holders. Liberty Tree Tavern, Rainforest Cafe, the Plaza Restaurant. That is so awesome. $95 for these. I told you some of these things were going to be absolutely mind-blowing. I am like kind of in awe because I wish I had all of it. Like some of these things are just so much historical value. I don't even know if you can put a price on it. This is such an amazing item as well. Do you guys remember these little guys right here outside Walt Disney World? Well, this is one of the carriages for the hot air balloons. Like this is here, isn't that insane? And then inside 
Look at that amazing vintage Walt Disney World security jacket. I absolutely love this. I don't think I'd fit in that, but I would wear it. I would absolutely wear it with pride. Another really cool piece is this Disneyland coat right here from Tomorrowland. This is really old, $350. Look at that symbol. It actually has the stamp inside. Wow, I love this. It's a little dirty, but I wouldn't want to wash it. Definitely take it to the dry cleaners if you did. They even have the official Disneyana convention where they actually had some of the auction. And these items haven't been resold in almost 20 years. 1997. Like, that's crazy. I think these sold 20 years ago. And uh, this is the first time they're being offered for sale again. So, like, that's what I mean. Like, some of these items are just so super rare. Including this Mary Blair thing right here. This is a room divider based off of It's a Small World from Mary Blair. There's no price on this, but there's a lot of literature on it right here. And like I said, if you have any information, you can just call up the Lakeland Antique Mall and they'll point you in the right direction. I am a big sucker for the cast member outfits, especially the very old ones. I think they're very unique and they have like such a like history to them and a nostalgia feeling. And they have some really awesome ones from Disneyland over here too. They also have Disneyland bandstands. These are $195. That's like kind of cool. I really like that, especially if you're in your band and you can might as well just get the band outfit. And it would be even better if your name was Norman. If your name was Norman, you get a Disneyland band outfit and a Disneyland stand. I would love that. $295 for the Walt Disney World band costume. That's amazing. If you were in Walt Disney World actually during the 25th and you've seen this, let me know in the comments because I think that's such an amazing piece. I know I keep coming back to it, but I'm just kind of like shocked. I would absolutely love to see that. And they even have a whole bunch of the Guest of Honor little things for the 25th anniversary. These are only $5 and they have tons. They even have the pins. They have all of them, like $5 for these and then the 25th right here. These are $5 as well. Oh, and they got a little license plate right there. I really love this. Also take a look at this state fair ribbon from Disneyland. The official coach, $175 for this. This is 1987. If you can walk out of here with one item, what item would it be? I mean, we're not even halfway done. I just wanted to like take a second and just reflect on what amazing treasures these are. And like, I like fascinate like, what I would have in my house. <laughs> this right here might be the rarest thing in here so far. This is a Snow White and the Seven Dwarves kind of like tea set. And this was actually gifted from Walt Disney himself to Princess Margaret in 1937. Look at this, isn't it amazing? The Kensington Palace, it comes with this book, it comes with her royal seal on it. This is literally the definition of one of a kind. Walt Disney literally gave this to Princess Margaret and it's been sold once and now it's offered up right now. I've never seen anything like that. This, did, like, this belongs in the Disney archives. Take a look at this up here. These are from the Pixar Play Zone at the Contemporary and it's actually all the characters from Toy Story Midway Mania. Like this is what you win at the end of the game. Like you can get yourself a deer or a rabbit. That's amazing. That is $595 for the whole set and you get all of them. I think that's really cool because that's never coming back. Inside here we have some amazing items and these are actually all cast member awards and then they have Grand Floridian keys. So when the actual resort used keys to actually open up your room door. That is such an awesome thing. $125 for a Grand Floridian key and then they used to snap or they used to stamp the toilet paper with the GF logo and that's that actual logo. This is what they used to use. That's amazing. $45 for that. Now we're going to take a look at some really cool resort furniture and fixtures. Take a look at this Murphy bed frame with art from the Caribbean Beach Resort. This is the whole thing right here. Well, missing the actual uh, bed itself, but that is so cool, isn't it? Like, you don't need to use this as a Murphy bed. You could pop that out and kind of just frame it, and I think it would be an amazing piece. 
Then we have even some Caribbean beach, Pirates of the Caribbean room, prop chairs. Look at the fabric on this, isn't that amazing? And then one of my favorite resorts, Port Orleans. This is an ottoman from the princess rooms. Look how amazing this looks. This is really nifty. This is $350. I absolutely love that. And then speaking of Port Orleans, they actually have some amazing headboard pieces from the rooms that I absolutely love. Aren't these beautiful? These are the headboards from inside the Port Orleans rooms and they actually have Disney characters in them. So if you can see standing on the balcony there is Princess Tiana and then over here some more Princess Tiana and the Princess and the Frog characters and then the kid in the back is actually wearing Mickey ears. That is so crazy. I can literally spend hours just going all the way around this place. There is just endless amounts of amazing things that just, it just all cap, it, it makes me so excited. It just gets me super excited. Some amazing framed Disney like resort art. This is a nice Lion King piece. This is from Animal Kingdom Lodge in the bathroom. I like it, Hakuna Matata. $299 and then back here they have Disneyland's Frontierland this was the trading post and this picture used to hang in the Fort Wilderness Resort I like this it's so cool looking isn't it for all the pin lovers out there they have an amazing Disneyland Tomorrowland pin scent from 1998 look at this they got rocket rods in there pizza port this is really cool, $395. I love the rocket rods though. That's so amazing. They also have some props from Epcot in the Morocco Pavilion. And that's so cool because Morocco is such a themed area. This is a Morocco Pavilion room divider. They probably had this in one of the merchandise locations. $295 for that. And then up here, we have one of the tables from world showcase so you would actually kind of just sit at one of these or they would use this for merchandise 225 dollars that's really awesome another really cool morocco piece is an actual table from inside spice road and i remember just recently eating there thinking wow this is a beautiful table they actually have one for sale 200 dollars for this isn't that amazing i love it it's so beautiful Another really awesome thing I want to show you up front. It's a little bit of a larger piece. This is so cool. This is an actual Autotopia car. Now, we don't know if this is from Santa Cruz or within Disneyland. Both of those locations actually had a similar ride or an attraction. And the maker that made the cars made them both. And this is so interesting because Walt even visited the Santa Cruz area because that's where the rods actually were put in place to make the cars stay in lane and they couldn't go off the track. So he actually got that from them. And this is just amazing. Such a piece, right? That is such an amazing thing. I absolutely love Autotopia. And like I said, we don't know if that came from Santa Cruz or from Disneyland. There's no way to authenticate it. So it's just still an amazing piece but if you're not all about disney and you do like some universal stuff they have plenty of universal studio props that i want to show you as well including some of the scarecrows from the halloween horror night scarecrow stock that is so amazing look at this one right here wow unbelievable this is two thousand dollars this was actually right in the middle of the prop store right there that is so cool I absolutely love these scarecrows. It was such a fun thing to actually do. September 18th to November 1st. They have tons of different little displays. Like they have this one. This is an actual whole setup. Can you see it with the car and everything? They got it all together. This one's $3,000, but it's a huge piece. This all is included. And then they have some more signage from Universal Studios, including Fast and Furious Supercharged. I think that's really awesome, 200 bucks and a couple of other items. Universal Studios is such a fun place as well. I love all of the different pumpkins and things from Halloween Horror Nights. 
And with that, I think I am done here, guys. What did I tell you? These were absolutely amazing finds, and I'm just so honored to be able to show you guys and even see them and just touch them and just just be a part of this like moment in history that that flower from the castle is actually going to get exchanged to someone else eventually. I think that's amazing. Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And if you want any of the information about how you can purchase this or prices of any of the items, I will list the number for Lakeland Antique Mall in the description. Just give them a call and like I said, they'll definitely assist you in any way possible. So, until next time, bye!